I'm Caroline Sunshine, and you're watching Clever TV. Hey guys, welcome back to the Clever TV Lounge. I'm Dana Ward, chilling with Jocelyn Davis. Hello. <laughs> and we have a fabulous guest today, one of the stars of Disney's hit show, Shake It Up, Caroline Sunshine. Yay! Hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> So you play Tinka. I love your I character. There are so many aspects of your character that make her so interesting. Um, what makes yes, her the most interesting, interesting to you? Like what really excites you about Tinka? I love just being, she's like, she's the type of person that everybody like secretly wants to be but you can't be in real life. You know, like, or at least for me, like, I always secretly wanted to wear, like, the crazy stuff that she gets to wear, say the uh -huh. crazy things that she gets to say and, like, gets away with it. Do you know what I mean? So I just love being, like, a completely different person. I just like that she can say whatever she wants and just that's how it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, she has no filter almost. And so to be that person sometimes is kind of fun. You know, it's different. <laughs> now, break down for anyone who hasn't tuned in to Shake It Up, like, Say Tinka's last name, first of all. I can't say yeah, it. Yeah, Tinka, Tinka's <laughs> last name. There's been a couple of different variations. I know okay. the, the question we get a lot. Like, okay. How exactly do you say your last name? So the correct uh, interpretation of Tinka's name is Hessenheffer. 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 So, yes, and all my all my fans are my little Hessenheffers. So. Oh, and I, I love, love the accent. It. Not even yes. little, oh my gosh. <laughs> little, little Hessenheffers. Hessenheffers. <laughs> yes, it's so fun to say. It just like, rolls off the tongue, kind of, once you have practice. And like, break down her characters. I know you're a twin, and how do you fit into the whole story? So, line? yeah, so essentially, like, Shake It Up, you know, is about this, uh, this dance show in Chicago called Shake It Up Chicago. Um, and Gunter and Tinka are the frenemies of the show. We kind of add the, like, you know, sugar spice everything nice kind of you know I what I mean <laughs> um, I think we'd be more of the spice probably <laughs> but um, so they're like this Gunter and Tinka are this duo from Eastern Europe you know um, and so there are these like foreign exchange students that have been there and they're dancing on the show with Rocky and Cece and um, they're very colorful for lack of a better word <laughs> when Gunter and Tinka come on the screen um, you know it's Gunter and Tinka like there's there's no mistake um, we're very like flamboyant and Slightly obnoxious, I'd say. We have like a G and T that are plastered on ourselves, like at all times, so you you know who we are. Yeah. And um, you know, we we're not Americans. We don't really get the culture, so we tend to say things or do things that are very just like, what did they just do or what did they <laughs> just say? say? You know what I mean? Yeah. Shake it up. Um, yeah, shake, <laughs> shake it, up. it up. Exactly. Gun oh, Gunter and Tinka, shake it up. Yeah. No, Definitely. but what I love about your characters is that you have these <laughs> awesome accents. Your European exchange students. Ex Except, side note, haven't your characters been exchange students since like the first, the first grade? grade. So yeah, <laughs> that's like that's the big that's the big joke in the show. Is that like yeah, that's what we say in like one of the first episodes. Is like you know you've been exchange students here since the first grade. Like, and they're like, can we exchange you back? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, so it cracks me up. Yeah, with Gucci and Tika being being the exchange students. But it's cool. Talk about the accent though. I mean, was that something hard for you at the beginning, or did it just? It sounds like it's it rolls weird. right off your tongue now. You would mm -hmm. think that, yeah, you'd be like, what? This is the thing that when most people like meet me in real life, they're like, oh, you don't talk with the accent? I was like, no, I'm from SoCal. Like, I'm a Cali girl. <laughs> like, what? No. Um, so it, it was different, you know what I mean? Like, um, for the audition, I kind of just went in and went with like a really thick Russian accent and just decided to go with it, you know what I mean? And then um, kind of, you know, more when I got the role and started working with Kenton, we kind of play off of each other and we tweaked it so that it's really, it's really, it's essentially its own accent, you know, it's, um, it combines different, different accents from kind of all over, all uh -huh. over Europe and we've just thrown them all together, shake it up a little bit and you have Gunter and Tinka, yeah. Yeah, you know? So it was really fun. That was probably one of like the coolest things about creating the character was um, creating this accent. It was really fun. Oh, fun. Now speaking of Gunter, mm -hmm. oh, Gunter. Mr. Kenton Duty. Now yes. he told us that he had never really danced a day in his life and <laughs> you are like a, an old pro when it comes to dancing. Yeah. So like have you been helping him through oh this my gosh. season? I have to hand it to Kenton. Um, he did not have like any dance experience before the like, show. Zero. Like yeah, no if, joke. if this is zero, then yeah, Kenton's yeah, zero. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, but he's caught on so quick. And the coolest thing is is that he just goes for it. Like most people when you're doing dance moves, a they're a little hesitant. bit shy, yeah. a little hesitant, you know, sometimes stuff looks crazy, but he's like, no, he just throws himself into it and by you know, like the second time I'm like, What? That took he me like it. a year. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> you know what I mean? So he gets with it and it's so fun because like we gotta play each other with that and Gunter and Tinka get to come up with their own little like fun dances and stuff. 
stuff. So he'll be like, hey, can we try this? I'm like, why not? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's do it. But, and you guys obviously have great chemistry. Was that something that happened right off the bat? Did you guys like meet in the audition or first day on set? I met Kenton. It was my my last audition for Tinka. It was like the final final audition, final callback. Um, is what like the term was. Um, and I met him in there, and it was just kind of felt it felt like right. Do you know what I mean? I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know that they had already had Gunter in there, so it was a shock. Here I'm like ready to go and be like, hi, I'm Tinka, and like Gunter's right there. I'm like. Gunter's here too, you know what I mean? Um, but we had like just an instant click, an instant chemistry, and that's really stayed with us and really only grown since like we've been mm -hmm. on the show for like 21 episodes now. Wow. So, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> what is it like behind the scenes like with the other girls, with Bella it's and so Zendaya? It's so fun. Oh my gosh, particularly working on a show that's got dance. Um, we have our like jam sessions together and like it really, the dance element kind of brought us all closer, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Um, because it just kind of tears down everybody's walls and you just kind of right. get to see people for like who they are just having fun. Um, and you know, everybody kind of has like a different role. Like the girls are like, you know, sisters to me and Davis is like a little brother, you know what I mean? Uh. He's like nine <laughs> years old and like oh my gosh I swear I'm dealing with like a 16 year old every day that kid just like so mature racks. yeah he's so mature you know what I mean um, but we really formed like a really close bond and we have our you know little like traditions that we do like before every live show mm -hmm. um, before we come out for the audience we have like this wall that has like all the tally marks of all our episodes we do like all our cheers oh and our dance circles and like it's really fun so we've had like our own little things that have kind of formed throughout the season that's been really cool so because you guys dance on the show, do you have like normal table read, like run-throughs where you go over the script and then you have tons of dance rehearsals as well? Or yeah. how does that work? Yeah, that's one of the different things about the show is that yeah, like when you're going through the script, it's like lines, 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 dance number, lines, 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 dance number, you know what I mean? Um, so, but we work with uh, Rosero and Claude. Um, Rosero McCoy is from Camp Rock. Both of them worked on Camp Rock movies. Um, so cool. it's really cool. So what we do is like we do our table reads and we run our lines and then we have our dance rehearsals with them, um, which is really fun. We kind of just like learn the dance moves and get it going and play around with it and see this and see that. And then they bring in other dancers from just outside too that come work with us um, that are like amazing break dancers and stuff like that. So it's really cool, like every day you're not just acting, like you're yeah. also getting a lot of dance too. So it's neat. So what's coming up on the show for your yeah. character that so we can look much forward coming to? Coming up on the show, oh, I'm so excited for everybody to get to see all the fun stuff that we've like come up with. Um, every episode, it's just I'm always so surprised and like impressed. You know what I mean? Like our writers do such a cool job of just making like the craziest, coolest scripts ever. So I think one of the things that I'm really looking forward to for everybody seeing is um, in a couple episodes coming up, we're gonna get to see Gunju and Tinka. We get to meet their parents. Um, we get Ooh. to meet the Hess and Hepper's parents. Do they come get in from see, overseas? They, yes, they, they live here with Gunju and Tinka oh, okay. and um, we get to meet them and we had some amazing guest stars that came in to play our parents on the show. Um, and we go to like the Hess and Hepper's apartment and um, Rocky and Cece, we have this like party with them and stuff. And so I'm really excited for everybody to get to see that. And then of course, um, we have a couple episodes coming up where we're doing some camping and whatnot. Um, there's a couple Ooh, really big, a really big dance numbers coming up that are gonna be pretty exciting for everybody to see. So like I, an even bigger stage performance. It just sort takes, of thing. yeah, it just like kind of takes it to next next level. You know what I mean? With a couple of these oh, dancers. I don't want to give too much away. I want you all to be surprised, but but I want to get you all excited because there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. So something I wanted to ask you. I don't know if you would even heard this, but I heard that your characters were kind of inspired by oh. um, Sharpay and her brother <laughs> from. Is that true from HSM? Because obviously brother sister duo, brother sister duo. Right. Disney. Disney. I, I Disney. definitely get how people like is would there draw truth those to that? I wonder. I think it's one of those things that it's like um, on the surface it probably looks a lot like that, yeah. like um, you know the the blonde brother sister duo who are very crazy and like to perform uh -huh. and everything mm -hmm. like that. Like I definitely I definitely see that. But I think once you watch Gunter and Tinga, once you get to know them, you find that they're actually very different from uh -huh. yeah. Sharpay. You know, exactly. um, they're just they're very different in their own ways. They kind of have each. I think each of the characters has their own different like kind of intricacies in them. And I totally. I mean, I love Ashley Tisdale and Lucas Grabeel, and I think they did such a have you met them yet? Um, I met Ashley Tisdale and I thought oh, it was pretty cool. cool. Um, I've always been such a fan of hers and I think totally. she's an incredible actress and so it was really cool to be like, oh my gosh, like, you know, Sharpay, sure you know what I mean? But, um, so yeah, she's definitely an inspiration. It was really cool to meet her. And well, that's cool. a good comparison to be getting. I know. Yes. Oh my gosh. Very true. <laughs> Hello, Very HSM's true. a big deal. Definitely, yeah. So it's been neat. But it's been cool to like kind of make these these new characters new and, you know, you hope like someday, 10 years from now, they'll be like, oh my gosh, they're like Kunja and Tinka. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It'll change. So it's really cool.
Well, the show's getting really good reviews. Everybody's talking yeah. about how, you know, Hannah Montana's off the air. Your show is like rescuing, saving the day for all the viewers. <laughs> the viewers who are looking for something saved. new, you know? Saving the day. It's, it's definitely, I mean, what an honor to be on such, you know, the Disney Channel and to have this show that's doing so incredibly well. Um, thank you to all the fans if you're watching. Thank you so much for watching our show. Um, it means the world to us, so thank you. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's amazing to have all these fans and you really get the give back to that. You know, every night when we go out to those live shows, you know, all our fans are there screaming and cheering and, so you know, fun. oh my gosh, remember this episode, remember that, you know, and just when you're out and about even every day, like it's so gratifying to have all these people kind of be with you. And yeah, you know, it was so sad to see Hannah, Hannah go off the air, you know, but it's exciting to kind of see like um, dance kind of taken, you exactly. know, coming up and making thing. making a new thing. Yeah, you know, it's it's all about dance and I think Shake It Up definitely, definitely brings some of that. It does. It <laughs> up. Well, thank you so much, Caroline, for thank joining you. us. Thank this you so really much for fun. having me. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks to you guys for tuning in to Clever TV. Make sure you stay posted to our show. For more info on Caroline Sunshine, <laughs> Shake It Up, and all of your favorite TV programs, I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.